Hi, in this video, we will create this sun and moon animation by animating the sun icon to travel around the circle and by animating a mask rectangle to scale within the circle. So let's get started. In this animation, we will use only two views to create the animation. We are going to use the sun icon and the rectangle. When you take a look at this parent container, it has this circle, which is the dotted circle. There is also the sun icon. The next is the rectangle, which we will animate later. To create the animation, we need to change the views over time. And to change the views over time, we need states. So let's define two states. The first state will animate the sun icon to move on the circular path. The next one is going to scale the rectangle from zero to another value. So let's start with the sun icon. Over here we have the SF symbol sun.max. This is what we are going to animate. We want this to move along the dotted circle. To do that, we have to use rotation effect. So first, we have defined the initial state using the state move along path. This is going to be used to animate the rotation. So we have the initial rotation set to 20. So we will trigger this animation without using user interaction. So we want to add the on appear modifier just below the offset. In the on appear modifier, we bring the state and use it to set the final rotation. For the final angle of rotation, we will set it to 145 degrees. Next, we are going to use the state to animate the rotation. So we copy it here and add the rotation effect modifier to the sun icon. So just below the foreground color modifier, let's add rotation effect. We will select 2D rotation. We need to set the angle of rotation. Let's set it to degrees. Instead of setting it to a fixed value, we are going to use the state. So I will paste it here. We get an error by clicking on the arrow. We can fix it. To see the rotation animation, we need to attach the animation modifier. So just above the on appear modifier, we will add the animation modifier. For the easing function, we will choose ease in out. That is the best for this animation. Let's set the duration of this animation to 5 seconds. This animation will be repeated and for each iteration we want a delay of 2 seconds. So let's add the delay modifier. To repeat the animation we also need to add repeat forever. Then the last thing to do is to set the parameter auto reverses to false. So this is all we need to create the rotation animation of the sun icon. So let's preview to see what we have done. You can see the sun icon is rotating at a static position, but we want it to move along this circular path. To do that, we have to place the dotted circle below the icon and also change the order of rotation effect and the offset modifiers. You can see from this ZStack parent container that the dotted circle is just below the icon. That is this icon. So what we have to do is to change the order of the rotation effect and the offset. 
the offset need to be above the rotation effect in order for this to travel along the circular path. So here we move this offset and place it just above the rotation effect. You can now see it is rotating from this point to the other side. We can also control this by changing the final rotation. Over here we set it to 145. Let's set it to 180. And resume. You can see it now travels to where we have the dot. Or if we change it to 270, it will now come to somewhere here. I will change it back to 145. So this is how to animate the sun to travel along the circular path. Let's also look at how to scale the rectangle and mask it to the circle. To animate the rectangle, we are going to use the state scale x. You can see the initial state is set to zero. The animation of the rectangle should be synced with the animation of the sun icon. So we can copy the animation for the sun icon and change the parameters. So I'll copy from the animation modifier to the on appear modifier. Then we can paste it on the rectangle. Let's change the state. We are going to use scale X. Then we change the value to 0.8. Next, we are going to use the state to animate the scale effect. So just below the opacity, we are going to add the scale effect modifier. In the parentheses, I'm going to paste the state. We get an error. We have to convert this value to CG float. You can see the rectangle scales from the center because the anchor point by default is located at the center of the view. But this is not what we want. We want it to scale from the left. So we can use only the Y coordinate or the X coordinate. So here we are interested in the X coordinate. So we are going to put X. Now it scales along the X axis, but still the anchor point is located at the center. Let's move it to the left by positioning the anchor at the leading. Over here, I'm going to add the parameter anchor and set its value to leading. That scales the rectangle from the left, and this is what we want. The last thing to do is to mask the rectangle to the circular shape. To do that, we have this Z stack containing the rectangle, so we can add the mask to the Z stack container. Before we do that, we need to know the size of the circle. So over here, you can see we have the frame modifier attached to the circle and it has a width of 300 and a height of 300. So we have to define the Z stack containing the rectangle to have a width of 300 and a height of 300. 
So over here, I will remove the comment. So we now have the Z stack size as 300 by 300. Next, we have to use the clip shape modifier to mask the rectangle to the circular shape. So here, I'm going to remove the comment. And now you can see the rectangle is scaling within the circle. The part that comes after the circle is now hidden. Now both the sun icon and the rectangle end at this point. But we can also change the point. For example, if we want them to end at the center, we can change the final scale value to 0.5. So now you can see the rectangle ends at half of the circle. Let's also make the sun move from this point to the same point by changing the final rotation to 90 degrees. So now they all end at the same point, at the top of the semicircle. I'm going to press on two so that they all end at this point. So this is how to create this sun and moon animation in Swift UI. We created this animation by moving the sun icon along the circular path. We also use masking to hide part of the rectangle and scale it along the horizontal axis to create this animation.